Creative Commons is the idea that we have been discussing here. I try to introduce you what is commons, particularly in the historical aspect that there were the state, the market and the commons were the three areas where the Creative Commons have been distributed and managed. We also saw the works of the Nobel laureate who worked on the commons and she insisted that local people are the best people to manage anything and digital and physical resources are the two major domains and we have been seeing how effectively commons can be distributed to the entire humanity. Having seen what is uh, commons and uh, what is uh, the resources, how the public and digital resources are being distributed to across the platform, across all the domains of public, now we will see that what is creative commons. Actually Creative Commons is a non-profit uh, society that was started in 2001 with the motive of helping the people who wanted to create and distribute the digital resources to everyone. And it is a suit of common licenses, actually this is having a lot of uh, licenses with it which permits people to collect and assemble and distribute in the digital platform to everyone. And something like open source as we see, you see uh, earlier that the, like GNU, uh, it, they copied or they uh, borrowed the idea from GNU and they created more to the this particular uh, creative common license was created. The license gives everyone from individual creators to large companies and institutions a simple standardized way to grant copyright permissions to their creative work. And the norms and rules of each license are first expressed in full legal language. There are three layers of language available, three layers of uh, license available in the Creative Commons. The first one is meant for the legal code. Actually, the people who are involved in the uh, affairs of uh, managing the commons, it is meant for them. The second one is meant for the common man. Actually, it is called common deed which is completely uh, understood by in the common language, in the, in the day to day language this has been, in the plain language this has been written. So, anyone who wants to read that, that can be understood. The third level is about the machine language that talks about how the machine could be understood from this one like the automatic robots and automatic crawlers and all those things they will be understanding this particular thing. So, these three levels of uh, documents are available in the Creative Commons that makes the institute of uh, licenses that helps the international community. There are billions of documents already been loaded in the Creative Commons. Creative Commons lead to the creation of a range of open movements. Actually, after creating this particular uh, Creative Commons, we have a lot of open movements have started like open educational resources that is a offcome that is an offshoot of this particular movement. And, uh, open access, open science and even open data, they are all have been developed or grown after this particular advent of Creative Commons. The goal is every case has been to democratize participation and share digital resources. The idea of uh, this particular Creative Commons is to share the resources in a very democratic way, in a open way and so that everyone can participate in that. The goal of uh, Creative Commons is to have the maximum facilitating maximum access and participation and democracy in sharing the wealth of digital resources. Mm -hmm.